So hold a collision um, is a you know very important uh, feature that allows you to determine if the tool that you're using or the tool length is uh, either long enough or not for the part you're trying to machine. So you can actually uh, you know check this before you actually put it out to your machine. You send a posted card out to your machine. So if you model your tools uh, in uh, the Visual Cam by defining your tool length, the flute length, the properties in here, and you program your tool paths based off that information that you put in. And as you run your verification or simulation, you will notice that if there is a holder collision, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, toggle the display of the stock visibility on and go back and run the simulation in here. And as you notice any collisions in here, you'll see that it not only flags the uh, you know collision areas as red in the simulation, but you'll also notice that the machining operation is now flagged uh, dirty. And if you go into your toolpath editor or the toolpath viewer, you can actually see the toolpath motions that causes the collision, the whole, causes the holder collision. So as you scroll through your toolpath viewer, uh, which is available right from our standard configuration, or the toolpath editor, which is included in pro and premium configurations, you will see that the uh, it marks the go-to motions where you run into a holder collision. So here you can see that these lines in here would result in a holder collision, and it also automatically marks those uh, collision areas in the toolpath viewer or toolpath editor. So for each of the you know, areas where there's a holder collision, it'll mark it. Now, how would you correct this here? You can either restrict the Z step down. Uh, if you're doing a pocketing operation, you can based on the tool length, or you may have to use a tool uh, that's longer than what you already selected in here to uh, avoid collision. So the holder collision is a very nice feature in here and it also marks those collision areas in the toolpath viewer or toolpath editor in addition to flagging the machining operation as dirty and also marking those collision areas in the simulations. You can see the collisions are marked in red. Well, there, can you show them how to determine the length of the uh, tool as well? Uh, sure. Um, so I'm going to go over to um, the Tools tab. And if you click on Compute Holder Collisions, it'll tell you the minimum tool length that you'd be needing to avoid collisions. And I believe uh, this option is available uh, starting with our Pro configuration to detect holder collision areas. So it recommends that I set the tool length to 1.5125 to avoid any collisions. And I can select OK, edit the tool, and I can go back and change the tool length in here. Save my edits. And now it'll go back and determine that there's no holder collisions detected. And I'm going to regenerate this operation in here. When I perform a simulation, you'll see that there were no collisions detected and the operation is marked clean, so it's not flagged dirty. And if you go into your toolpath viewer, there aren't any collisions being detected in here as well. I hope this answers your question.